Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, from Everyone Extreme here. Here we are on Nanafell Crossplay, this is by Iron Thunder. It is 250.26 megabytes to download. There is two required mods of the Swaffer Pack and Pickup Header Pack by BC Builder. However, that is important for the functionality of the map where it is Swaff and ready. And these two mods only have a megabyte size of 24.38 megabytes. Meaning the total megabyte download for this map, including the required mods, is 274.64 megabytes to download. But yeah, so overall, we'll just have a little look around there. So, as always, time to be down below. So I will try to structure everything as I can. So, before I go over anything, let's go over the map description. So it says, welcome to Nanafell, located in Manitoba, Canada. The map is based in a real town in Nanafell and fills around it. But a few things were changed to improve the gameplay, and originally this map was a 4x PC map, but it's been downscaled to a 1x crossplay map. If you want to experience the realistic size of the map, check out the 4x version on the mod hub, which is a PC only version, just so you know. The map includes the following 70 fields, over those, new crops, which includes flax, lentils, peas, alfalfa, clover, jit cow, rye, spelt, mustard, and millet. Also support swaffing, so that's the BC Bureau stuff. Custom weather and growth calendar. There are three farms, nearly 50 houses with individual farmlands and sleeping points. Two rivers and two ponds, which can refill your trailers with water. There is 50 collectibles, which I have not seen yet, but we may have a look at those around. There are four production sites, refill points, four seeds, soil fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, lime, herbicide, and salt. That is located at the main shop, which we'll go over in a bit. And there's also 32 paintable ground types. The map is perfect for big scale farm, farm operations. Hope you enjoy it. And also, uh, Iron Thunder left is Discord information down below at the bottom of the mod description. So if you have any bugs to report, then feel free to contact him via Discord. So that is good to see. But anyway, so first of all, let's go over slot count. So on Farm Manager, I start from scratch, it is 1260. On new farm mode, it is 1,422. It is a bit above that at the moment. That's because I had to get a few stuff ready for the map tour. But if you come on to a new farm mode without purchasing anything or whatever in that, it is 1,442. I think the extra slot counts is the productions and that. So there are some custom items. There is a custom farmhouse, decoration items, ground types, or oh, sorry, ground field paint, sorry. As well as a custom grain and oil mill for the new crops. However, they are the same speed, so. Yeah, so a little quick overview of the production, so. Contracts are plenty. But yeah, so I'll go over this in a bit. So you've got your custom oil mill that has the mustard oil, and then you get flour from your millet, spelt, rye, and trit cow, but as I mentioned, we'll go over that. So on new farm mode, what do you start off with? So. Under medium tractors, you got the John Deere 6250R 7810. The Harvester, you got the John Deere T560, which comes with the 625X header. Got a pickup, trader, and you've got some potato technology now to start off with, because you do start off with a potato field. That's something a bit different. Got your plow, your converting plow, a simple Lemkin cultivator. A Cochrane Rebel Classic Disc Arrow, Pointer Cedar, a Amazon Planter, along with a front loader and the implements. Obviously, you got the header trailer for your header, and then lastly, you got your John Deere 1800 kilogram weight. So, on new farm mode, you also start off with, do start off with that area up there or these bits here. So, the shop fuel stations and that, you didn't own that, that's just because of me setting things up. But yeah, you start off with 117, 121, 139 and 100. So, field 100, that's going to be your potato field I'm assuming. So yeah, that is potatoes. And then yeah, going across, you got your some of the new crops, so is that spelt we got? Yeah, on field 46. But yeah, so overall with the PDA, I do like the look of it, especially with all those new crop types. And for prices overall, 
they are a bit on the high side, but not ridiculously expensive. Like, at most you're paying around about 800 grand, I think I looked at some of the fields. 739, 748. So yeah, just shy of 800 grand you're paying for the bigger field. So, overall it's not too bad. There is no forestry area, but again, you can plant trees. And there are plot areas like 38, for example, where you could, you know, create a little forest in that. Going over the PDA in a bit more detail. So, starting up center north, you got your production. So, that's going to be your grain mill production, your oil mill, your grain mill cell point, the Bloomingard grain. Also, you got your Bloomingard exports, and your ship, and your livestock market, Hobe Rune. Go down, got your main dealership, so we'll have a look at this in a bit. So you've got your vehicle shop, your fuel point, and your refill points I mentioned, along with the debris crusher. Moving further down, got a workshop, biomethane station, and I think that is a, yep, electric charger. And as you go down, got your main farm area where you start off with. However, we are down here, so we'll go up north, have a look around the main farm, and then I think we'll start looking around. But yeah, besides from that, there is no other points in that. So all your cell points are clustered into one area, which is nice. So yeah, your grain mill and your blooming grain, that's going to be your grain cell points. And pretty much the export is going to be from pretty much everything that ain't grains. Empty ship will take the sugar beet and sugar beet cut. And yeah, I just want to have a quick look to make sure there is at least cell points for everything. So apart from fuel now, which again is not to be expected. But yeah, all your production items as you expect. Purchase point prices. Oh, you can sell lime, you can. At the Bloom Regard exports. Even though it's not really worth it based on that, along with herbicides. But yeah, your minute, mustard and that. A huge selection of where you can sell your items. And then yeah, with the alfalfa, you can make alfalfa hay, silage, clover, hay and silage. Mustard oil, flax. But yeah, mustard oil, that is quite valuable. So, starting off with, yeah, you got your main house here. Simple, you know, seat point over there. And wardrobe is just here. Oh, wait a minute, is that a collectible? Oh, Canadian leaf, so... A maple leaf in that, nice. Yeah, unfortunately the weather is a bit grey today in that, so... It's not as sunny in that. But anyway, so we'll go up a bit. So we'll go to the main farm. Have a look around that, and then... I think we'll start touring around the map and then sort of end at the north cell points now. So, I'm going to break this up a little bit different because there really ain't too much to look at in terms with, you know, unique items in that. However, here's your main farm. So, we will park up here. So, we've got your shed over here. And yeah, got all your potato technology, trailer. Um, your cedar and that, the tractors and the combine. And then if you go across, got your grain mill. Got a, another shed over here. Is that part of our land? I think it is. Actually, is it? So have a little look at it. So, where are we to? Oh, yeah, so yeah, you do have access to the shed, just nothing's in it currently. And then, yeah, moving across. So, yeah, grain mill, not grain mill, silo over there. Oh, okay. I may have actually gone a bit ahead of time and actually went for the crop. However, got your plow, your disc arrows and that. So, lovely jubbly. Little shed area to store your implements. And, yeah, besides from that, huge open area so you can sort of drive around. I really get very creative in terms of what you want to place in that. But yeah, so that is the main farm area. And I think now it's time to go under build mode. So, as mentioned, there is really not many custom items in that. So, 
if you've got is farmhouses, so you've got a selection of different farmhouses. I think there's over like 50 individual ones placed down across the map. And over that, you've got some decorations, so you've got different garages and that. Garden swings and swings, so you can pretty much create your own custom garden now, which is nice to see in that, to be fair. Productions, as I mentioned, there's only the custom green mill and oil mill. 96, 8 grand respectively. And uh, yeah, uh, it's exactly the same as yeah, the base game price. So again, nothing different, just the additional recipes and that. And just looking at my notes. Uh, yeah, so yeah, got your custom landscaping paintings and that. So got your usual ones. And let's go across. You get sort of different items that so Like concrete, dirt, and that. But yeah, I'm not going to go over every individual, uh, individual one. But yeah, you got so many custom ones. Nice bit of grass. Actually, even different bits of grass as well. I go across, you got your gravels and that, rocks. Have a look at those. Granite. Wet sand. But yeah, so overall it's not too bad. And yeah, that is pretty much it in that. So, again, nothing to real shout him about. So, the plan is, I think we'll sort of go back down. We'll sort of loop around. I think if we go down, sort of around, have a little view of the map. Then have a little squiggly up here. Look around the main dealership area and that. Main shop. And then, yeah, I think we'll finish off at the little workshop area over here. So, obviously, I've added money in that just so to get things set up in that. So, let's head out of here. But, yeah, so also, I forgot to mention custom crop candor and that. So, everything has got a very narrow window in that. So, wait in that. Yeah, I think that's basic sim space game. But things like the corn and that, that is literally a one month window. And then go to your custom crop, so millet, spelt, dry, all the crops that can be planted in spring. However, you can also do a late summer, early fall for spelt, dry and trick cow. Alfalfa and clover can be planted from March till what's that, October and harvested or cut all year round along with your grass and the grass you can plant that until November so not every map is like that but yeah so we'll have a look around here so drive on the right so yeah, I think we'll go down and yeah just have a look around so actually I think we'll Try to skip ahead so the weather is a bit more brighter because it is a little bit loomy at the moment. So there we go, that is a lot better now. So we can actually see everything. And yeah, so you can purchase individual land, so you can get your productions and that, so and yeah, you can even like purchase your individual houses and that. I think that is actually quite nice, you know. 16 grand, 31 grand. So yeah, individual farmhouses. Again, actually that is something very unique in that, so... So yeah, just a minor interruption there, just want to make sure I didn't miss anything else in my notes or anything in terms of extra lands you can purchase, but yeah, apart from the additional farmlands and that, there really ain't much else, and to be fair, like, looking around, it is very vast. Yeah, it may not be the most... I'll say it's one of those maps where it ain't a high megabyte download, it's not like a thousand or a thousand megabytes or a gigabyte almost, so it's got all like custom this and that, all whole shabam items. There's also a very simplistic but huge Canadian map now that has some little additional features that just makes a bit of a quality of life improvement, I'll say. So yeah, we'll go look right up here. Mind the little dishes and that, so I think the idea, you know, create mega fields and that is possible. Now, if you want to get rid of some of the roads and that, 
yeah, ignore the withered items, that's just me fucking things up in it, so I wouldn't pay attention to that too much. But yeah, you can get very carried away in terms of having huge mega fields and that. And yeah, there is also some custom AI traffic, so I think, yeah, we'll take this, is this like a little route across or is it a river and that, so this one little path here. Ah, right, so it is just a river and that, a little stream upwards. Ah, fair enough, simple enough, so if that's the case then, rather than falling the river, that was going to be the original plan. I think we'll hook across here, and then yeah, we'll go up to the store and that. And yeah, even though I said there wasn't like, much forestry in that, there are trees about, so you can do some forestry, just like no huge massive forests in that, so... Again, there's other things to be aware. And actually, one of the things I don't really look at too much on maps, but something I've noticed recently on some of the maps I've been playing is like the value for wood chips and that. So, wood chips, yeah, easy economy and that. So, yeah, it's worth a fair bit in that. So, if you do want to do a bit of logging, but don't fancy doing the logs and that, wood chip them using the devourer, how you can make millions quickly on that. So, just a little bit of kind of info sharing I want to mention. I've uh, pulled across here, got your bakery net. Well, I think that's your bakery, so where are we to? There we go. See, so, yeah, I got your bakery net. And yeah, again, <laughs> just making sure I'm not missing anything. No, just farmhouses, farmhouses here. There is your first farm down there, so we'll have a little look at that as well. So yeah, you can purchase the land, and that gives you access to the bakery. And yeah, bakery and dairy nets, basic recipes and that, nothing to shout about. Yeah, just careful not to get stuck in the ditch. There we go. But yeah, like this little section over here, you know, we get into like, the residential areas and that. It is absolute beautiful, like the detail in that. And yep, I know it's scaled down, you know, from a 4X map, so there is going to be some liberties taken out. Again, I'm not a PC player, so I haven't really seen the 4X version of this. But yeah, even again, just how it looks and that, as it is. A definitely decent quality map in that, so we're going to head on to your larger farm of the lot, so this is going to be like your big mega farm you could have, potentially. So you've got your silos there to the right. I guess the input is somewhere. But also, you know, actually, have a look at that. What does it say? It's got three different icons. Ah, it's a flat bottom silo, so they require like, the augers and that, so fair enough. Nice to see those. Again, don't really see many of those about now. I know there's plenty of mods like that, like the Meridian stuff and that. Huge shit. Lights and that is somewhere in that. Is that in here? No, that's a door in that. But yeah, light switch is in there, I think, somewhere. But yeah, overall, not too bad, and... Yeah, it also does come with a farmhouse on its own, but for 15 grand, you get a house across the road. Or if you want to save a bit more money in that. Oops, sorry. I'm sure that's where I was going. And indicated there are plenty of brain fart moment. No idea what I was going to try to say then. But hopping across the road, you do have a another shed area. I thought it was going to be like an animal place for that, but nope. Again, it's just another shed area. Hey, <laughs> nice. And then, yeah. Plenty of these around, you know, seat triggers and that, wardrobe and that. Even yeah, wardrobe is something you really need in that or touch in that. I say you need, obviously you do need a wardrobe, but as an icon on its own, you can do it in the menus and that, so. But yeah, I think that is it there. So again, just got the PDA. I like how it just ends in that and then goes on to like the dirt path for that, so proper into the fields, so you know when 
civilization, civilization ends and then where farming starts. Anyways, back up and across, so going past the main farm we looked at at Sar the Map Tour. It helps if I can keep everything straight now. So we are approaching one of the deer ships in that, so we've just come up here, past the houses, and then yeah, this is gonna be like a little mini how not house a mini deer ship in that, so Again, this is where you can buy your buy me fate and then trick and that. And I think as well as it not I don't think it was diesel on that, but definitely a little workshop here and that, so yep, yeah, you're charging points on that. Workshop area and that. So there goes points there. Repair your equipment as such. Get rid of that sec, didn't mean to have that up. But yeah, I just like the way it looks now, you know. Very clean, very tidy, very precise. And then, moving up and across, this is going to be your main town area and your main cell points and, that, and your main shop and that. So, this will include your spawn and the reset point for your equipment, which is just over here to the left. So yeah. D ship there to the left. The spawn point and reset point is back here. And then moving on to the right. This is going to be your refill points. And by the looks of it, is that the workshop area looks like? You know, got the hazard mark area in that. So yeah, hop across. Yeah, it's got like the hazard mark area. Door to get in? Nope. Not too sure what that part is. Oh, anywho, and that's so yeah, got your refill points and that over there. Got your debris crusher and that. Nah, that was gonna be an entrance there. And then yeah, we'll head out of here because we just, just looked at the third farm and that, so very simple, we've got a couple of sheds, a couple of barker silos. Got your great side here to the right. And again, nice decent sized shed in that. So you saw plenty of equipment now, including combine harvesters in that. And again, houses there. Again, I just like how it's all done in that. Like how everything's been well integrated in that. So I think we'll go right here. So this is going to be your export area for some of your production items. Just over here, and including the logs by the look of that. Loop around. Got your empty ship here to the right. Yeah, it's basically based off Obey Rune and that, so. And then heading out here is going to be your empty dealer cell point, so sell things like your bells and that, so going to go here. And then start wrapping things up. We'll go across and have a little look at your production area. So, green mill cell point is just there. Your green mill production is just over here. And so, see, I've been having this going in that. Got a few pallets in that. Fortunately, these aren't liftable in that. But yeah, so we have a look at your green mill. So. As I mentioned, basic base game recipes and ratios and that. Obviously just with the addition of a minute, spelt right and tricked cow. Looking at the recipes of that, so spelt very similar to the barley, minute similar to the wheat, rye 1519, oats 1516 tricked cow and sorghum. But yeah, so there's no individual flower types, you know, of the kind of flower you can get. It's just come out as flower net. But yeah, capacity is that is 50,000 year export. Input is 270,000 years. And then, moving up and across, this is going to be your oil mill net. 
not yet. Mind that. There we go. Got your oil mill just over here. And uh, yeah, I think I got some mustard oil being being produced. Yeah, can't lift the mustard oil. But yeah, got like little bottles of mustard oil. Nice. So yeah, in terms of capacities, export is ten thousand liters. Input, what's that about 150,000? Yeah, I think it had to be 10 to be a bit more, 150,000 a year. But yeah, two for throughput and capacity, you know, just under 10,000 liters a month. So, not too bad. Very similar to sunflower and canoe oil. And actually, what we want to look at is prices. So, go down to your productions. Sunflower and canoe oil. For maximum price is 6400 and 5900 respectively. Olive oil I'm not reconsidering. But then if you go down to your mustard oil, 6400 for a thousand liters at max price, so that is very close to sunflower oil. So is it worth doing sunflower or not not corn oil or like mustard oil? To be fair, it's exactly the same in terms of maximum price. Yeah you get your little deviations here and there. I think we look at the crop calendar nat. Sunflower, May and October. Mustard, that is May and October. So, exact same harvesting and planting window nat. As the sunflower nat. So, I think overall that is the map covering that. A bit of a, I'll say a bit of a wrap map tour nat. At the end of the day, everything is concentrated into one place and then. That means that you have 95% of the map be used for, 90% of the map used for, you know, actual farming. It's not a production simulator map in that, or whatever people want to call it in that. It's a good old fashioned farming map with some productions, but it's got it's a worthy addition to it. So it's not overkill in that. So yeah, overall, I'll say this map is out of five. Somewhere between, as I say, about a 4 out of 5. It's a banger, slow map. And yeah, the reason why it's not a 5 out of 5, there's nothing groundbreaking, nothing shattering in that. But 4 out of 5 is a very good score now. 4 out of 5 is pretty much best of a simple map can be. If I was just based on a, your typical maps, like basic maps, then yeah, it'd be a 5 out of 5. But I know the potential of what maps can be. However, they do come at the cost of megabyte size and that, so things like Court Farms, Bay Spring, uh, Carpathian Countryside being almost a gigabyte to download and that, so at the very limit of what you can have on console and that, in terms of save file sizes and that, or if it's mod sizes, I'm not sure how it all works and that. But yeah, overall for 264 megabytes, including the required mods, you can't really complain that, that gives you a lot of headroom space in that. Especially on PS4 and that, you got over 1200 slots, or just under 1200 slots to play with, so... You can get super creative on this map, so... I think, anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always, if you find this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form, if so, smash the like button, feel free to comment down below, if you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider... But for as you to do, we're going to stay. But for now, it's me, Farmer, Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.